Hello, my name is Bonnie Lau. I'm a senior program manager on the Windows User Experience team. Today, I'm going to talk about the eight traits of a great Metro style app. The first trait is Metro design style. Key to the Metro design language is the concept of content before Chrome. Whether you're building a shopping, social, media, or any other category of app, content is at the heart of that experience. Everything else around the content are only tools or Chrome to help people navigate and interact with that content. As app designers, by leaving only the most relevant elements on screen, we help people be immersed in the things they love, your content. This is a typical newsreader app. Let's take a look at how we can remove unnecessary Chrome and let the content shine. First, start by removing the lines, boxes, and some of the graphical effects, such as gradients, which detract from the content. Make use of typography to create a clear information hierarchy in your content. Using a small, consistent set of font sizes organizes the content and creates relationships in order. Instead of cluttering the app's canvas with controls, we can leverage the edge. Commands can be placed in the app bar, which can be reviewed on demand through swiping from the bottom or top edge of the screen. By making use of the app bar, not only do we clear up the interface to give focus to the content, people can confidently use the app because they can consistently find commands under one roof. When users are focusing on the content instead of the Chrome, the layout of that content provides users with a feeling of familiarity and confidence. And to make it easy to lay out your app, you can use the project templates from Visual Studio as a starting point. The second trait is be fast and fluid. Motion is a core part of the Metro design language. Animation is more than just visual adornment. It provides information by illustrating what is happening and reinforcing concepts. Many animations are built into the standard platform controls. But additionally, there is an animation library that provides animations tailored for common app scenarios. Because these animations are used throughout the system, they help users know what behaviors to expect and reinforce concepts in the interface. Metro-style apps are designed to be touch-first. Follow the Windows 8 touch language, which has a set of very simple, direct gestures. These interactions are provided to you in the standard platform controls to help you create an experience that feels fast and fluid without needing to learn about special modes or memorizing gestures. Use those and you're set. Snap and scale beautifully. With Windows 8, your app has the opportunity to be used on hundreds of millions of PC with a variety of form factors and screen sizes. Starting from a minimum screen resolution of 1024 by 768 pixels, consider what your app will look like on larger screen sizes and take advantage of the additional screen real estate to show your users more content. It's easy on Windows 8 to multitask by snapping, and a great snap state invites users to keep your app on screen longer. Design a useful, compelling snap state that maintains users' contacts. Use the right contracts. Contracts are the glue that bind Metro-style apps together. There are many contracts, but three of the most fundamental are Share, Search, and the File Picker. The Share contract lets any app share data with any other app. A Source app is one which provides something to share. A Target app is the app being shared too. Every app should be a share source. For example, a photo app can share an image, a news app can share an article, a game can share a high score. Apps that let people publish, store, or edit content are good candidates to be a sharing target. For example, social, chat, note-taking, bookmarking, cloud services, image editors should be shared targets to help their users more easily pass on content. The search contract lets people search your app from anywhere in Windows. Use this instead of creating your own in-app search UI. The results are displayed within your app so you can show the experience. The file picker contract lets people open content from or save content to your app while they are in other apps. For example, the Socialite app here has implemented the open contract, so when I browse for pictures from anywhere in the system or in other apps, I can choose pictures from my computer or from Socialite. Invest in a great tile. Tiles are the front door to your experience. Treat them as an extension of your app and invest in designing them to highlight your content and your brand personality. Feel connected and alive. 
Use live tiles to draw people into your app with dynamic, relevant, and personalized content. Fresh content helps people feel connected to your app and give them reasons to place your tile in a prominent position on Start and to launch your app time and again. For information that is time sensitive and must be interruptive, you can use notifications to help people quickly navigate back to the relevant contacts in your app. Roam to the cloud. Leverage the roaming ability provided through the platform to create a continuous and fluid experience. Every app gets per user cloud storage for setting, state, and a small amount of user content that they can roam with user's Windows Live ID. Embrace the Metro design principles. Do more with less. Show content before Chrome to let people focus on what matters. Pride and craftsmanship. Details in visual styling, layout, and typography matters. Be fast and fluid. Design for touch with motion and ergonomics in mind. Authentically digital. Be connected and alive with live tiles and notifications and roam to the cloud. Win as one. Use contracts to work together with other apps to complete scenarios. These principles form a framework when you are making decisions around the flow, interactions, and visual design of your app. To learn more about each of the above topics, see the additional reference links here. Thank you.